So, hello guys. Um, in the last video, we end up here. Exercise number eight. Uh, let's make the calculation of the provided real reinforcement area. I've already explained the difference between that and the theoretical reinforcement area. So let's make all these small steps here. Let me switch to robot and let me switch to geometry. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to press this button over here for the default display settings. Okay. Now I have restored the default display settings. And I'm going to select by window selection the whole plate. Okay. Okay. And now I have one plate. If a model includes more panels, then this these panels should be selected for which provider reinforcement is to be calculated. Now I'm going to export this plate for the module, the reinforced concrete module. So let's do it. Let's go design provided reinforcement for of reinforced concrete elements. Okay. Now robot is exporting oh is importing this element. Okay, it's good. Okay. And we've got our plate over here. Now I can switch to see the reinforcement over here. And you've got here the calculations. I'm going to the to this button over here, the reinforcement parameters okay it's over here let me select the bars options okay and on the general tab select the bar option in the reinforcement type field it means that the generated plate reinforcement will be the reinforcement with the use of reinforcing bars okay and i want to go on the bars tab and set top and bottom reinforcement in both directions as 12 bottom reinforcement as 12 also over here so i want to reinforce my slab with 12 millimeter rebar okay i'm going to set that as okay i'm going to select this calculation options i'm going to calculate this plate very good now I'm going to this drop down menu to see the results. I want the slab reinforcement and this will display the slab reinforcement as you may see over here. It has a really great uh, graphic view over here. You may check that. Okay. Everything is diameter 12. This is the real reinforcement. It's not the theoretical. The theoretical reinforcement gives you a map. This gives you actual reinforcement placed in this slab. Okay. And you may check here the reinforcement. Very good. So we end up uh, this exercise. The next exercise is exercise number nine. And it's on a three-dimensional structure. Okay. You may check over here. It's a 3D solid structure, this one here. Please subscribe and once again, thank you very much.